numbers have declined by 28%. They are a protected species, but much of their territory isn't. Habitat degradation, fragmentation, and climate change exacerbating natural forest fires are their biggest threats. As their continent continues to warm, the days for Australia's cuddliest marsupial may be numbered. We love spending time in eucalyptus forests, and it would have been so fun to look at koalas from up close. Our friends at Nature on PBS are getting even closer to the action in their new mini-series, Spy in the Wild 2. In this sequel to the popular Spy in the Wild series, the team introduces more than 50 incredibly realistic spy cameras, shaped as hummingbirds, gorillas, and even turtle eggs, to allow them to record nature as you've never seen it before. Each episode explores a different region of the world. My favorite episode so far transports viewers to Australia, where a spy koala cam is intercepted by other koalas who films breeding behaviors up close and personal. Nature, Spy in the Wild 2, is streaming right now at pbs.org slash spy in the wild. New episodes air on Wednesday nights at 8 Eastern Time, 7 Central, on PBS through May 20th. Be sure to stream all the episodes on the PBS video app so that you don't miss a single species. What should I talk about next? Please let me know in the comments and be sure to subscribe for new episodes of Animal Logic every week. Thanks for watching! Electricity is more than a source of energy. For Lexus, it's a feeling. From hybrids to plug-in hybrids to our first all-electric, the RZ, this is a new take on electric, one that puts your needs above all else. Experience amazing at your Lexus dealer. Deep, on one of the most remote islands on the planet, lives a creature so evil-sounding that when Westerners first heard it howling through the night, the only name they could come up with was the devil. This is the fearsome Tasmanian devil. Characterized by its rugged, jaw-dropping terrain, dynamic landscapes, and sparse population, Tasmania is a wildlife stronghold. But there's one species that rules over the island, Tasmania's largest terrestrial carnivore, the Tasmanian devil. They look like a bear mixed with a dog, or the pouch of a koala. In fact, early 19th century scientists referred to Tassies as bear devils, due to this superficial resemblance. Yet, despite the resemblance, they are marsupials, and are more closely related to koalas than bears. Tassie devils are the largest carnivorous marsupials left in the world. They used to be the Tasmanian tigers, aka thylacines, but since they've gone extinct, these are the next in line. They're in danger too. Around 3,000 years ago, 
protesters didn't really mainland Australia, but they were driven out by dingoes and humans, which either hunted them or hunted out their prey. Hotse. Without Mr. Peregrine, I'm Madden.